How we doing, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggy With It. I'm Will, and today we're opening the newest game from Renegade Studios. I can't say the newest, but the newest for me, right? Uh, which is the Saban's Power Rangers deck builder game that just came out. Uh, so Renegade Studios did get uh, some different rights and some different things from Hasbro, uh, including Power Rangers, G.I. Joe, and Transformers. Right now there is a Transformers deck building game that is up for pre-order. Uh, and then they've got a con announcement coming up where they're going to mention more things about the different ones. Uh, there is tell that they may be making a RPG. I know they're making an RPG, but they're, the deck building games are separate. But the RPG is supposed to be able to be interplayed. Like it's going to use the same RPG rule set. And that means that you could take a Power Ranger and a Transformer and a G.I. Joe and smash them all together and go up against a particular bad guy. So that's it, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the box and uh, see what all it entails. So, of course, we mentioned it is Renegade Game Studios. Uh, it is a game by Matt Hyra. Uh, on the back here, we got to look for that handy-dandy thing there. So ages 13 plus, 2 to 4 players, 30 to 70 minutes. Uh, it is a deck-building game, meaning that you go through, you acquire some cards, you buy some guards, uh, in different ways. Um, I'm going to admit I have not read the rules or anything on this, uh, but we are going to play this next week on our Thursday. Uh, Thursday is normally when we play our card games, um, so of course you can come out and watch that, although I think I'm uploading this on Thursday, so therefore you can watch it tonight. Um, by then I'll have the rules read, um, and maybe, maybe there'll be some gameplay uh, videos <laughs> that I can find out there. Uh, so here is the rule book. Uh, so it goes through, as a rule book should, all of your turns, all of your orders, um, how you take hit points, how you take damage, and specific card clarifications, tips on playing, on uh, a nice little glossary back here in the back. There we go. That is our rule book. Uh, you do have a couple cardboard components. So you have your Zord Bay here. Uh, and that popped out pretty easy. I like a nice, easy pop out, so you don't have to worry about it ripping the cardboard. Uh, so there we go. There are different numbers. Uh, I'm guessing to make the Megazords, you got to put all six Zords together. Uh, this is okay. So I guess you put your card there, and then you have the layer, which I guess is for the villains. Uh, when you attach a master to the layer, attack. Deal one damage for each master you control. So I don't remember if this is versus or cooperative. Uh, big bit of game. Some players will be heroes and some will be villains. So it looks like it's going to be versus. So looks like me and Alfred are going to have to fight against each other. Uh, now there are going to be some expansions as well. So of course we will continue to be able to play this game as more expansions come out, which is always a good thing. Uh, and then here are some little tokens, uh, maybe the player markers, or player order, because yeah, they got villains on one side, and you got heroes on the other. So we'll figure out what those do when I read the rules. Uh, let's get through all the components, and then we'll look at the cards. Uh, so here we go. So it is Power Rangers deck building game. Uh, so here's the villain uh, counter. So you have, let's, let's get this spinning. So yeah, it spins pretty good. So, what's the max? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, maybe 20. Yep. So 20 is the max. And then there's a... Okay, so that's one thing. That looks like maybe your damage output. And then down here are your power. And then down here is your hit points. So it looks like 13, 14, 15. So maybe it goes all the way up to 20 as well. Uh, 20, oh no, 21, oh 20, oh no, it goes way higher, okay. I was, I was like, these are a lot closer together. I was like, the ones up top were like a little bit further apart. There you go. So it goes all the way up to 30 there. And then we have the Power Rangers. Uh, now there are different versions of this. So there is a promo pack that if you did the Kickstarter back, the backer it pre-order campaign, um, you did get that pack. I did do a pre-order from the Renegade Game Studios. Um, I'm not sure if they qualify. They do do the Transformers game, however. If you pre-order from there, it does qualify. Um, but it does give you the White Ranger. I think it gives you the Tiger Zord, uh, a different uh, marker as well uh, for both. I believe it's got, uh, uh, what's her name, Scorp Scorpino on it. And then it's got, of course, the White Ranger. Uh, but I would imagine this is going to be the same. It's just going to go to 20 and 
30. Um, we'll call them 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep. Uh, and then 30. Do, 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 do. Probably should go the other way, Will. The numbers are lower. It's quicker to go this way. All right. So, yeah. So, 30. So, same with both of these. I did notice that did shift on me a little bit when I was trying to do it. So, it is it is just held together like so. I didn't notice that on the villain, but yeah. Same way on both. I almost to guarantee somebody's... if. I don't want to say if and when, you know, because uh, somebody on Etsy will probably make a plastic hard version of that, so you'll always be able to go online and maybe pick that up. All right, here you go. You can see the inside of the box. So I'm going to get these cards. Oh, there's a lot of cards in there. There's a bunch of decks. Okay. There's three decks for us to go through. Uh, but you have your spot for your, for your tokens. Uh, your big spot there was your, um, where the damage counters went. And you can see there is room to add more. So when you get those other ones, they can all kind of go in this core box. Uh, here's where your decks. And then I guess just extra space for extra space. So, uh, yeah. Oh, here, let's get these out so it's nice and, nice and bonito on the screen for you. All right, so let's look at the big cards. Uh, these look like the hero and villain cards. Uh, so maybe that's what these... Now, these sit in the big spot there. I don't, I don't know. So Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, uh, minus two to activate attached cards, so minus two power, I guess. Uh, attack and deal three damage for each hero attached to your character. Uh, and Okay, so it's got alternate sides. So for those of you that have watched our Marvel Champions, uh, it looks like this has alter ego form similar at least. When all four slots are filled, attach your Zord to the Zord Bay and flip this card. Uh, when you play or attach a hero, deal one damage. Okay, so <clears throat> once you get four slots on your Zord, okay, then then you become a Power Ranger. You got to get your Zords, then you become the Power Ranger. Uh, so Mighty Morphin Green, uh, minus two, uh, and then attack, deal three damage for each uh, equipment attached. And I'm going to imagine these all say the same when all four flip. Uh, when you play an equipment, reveal the top part of your deck. Okay, so they do have different powers. Uh, so they do have different powers. Mighty Morphin Yellow. Attack deal two damage plus two damage for every 10 HP you have. Uh, when you play, you get to heal one HP. Okay, makes sense. You heal a hit point, which is then going to allow Trini to not fall all the way to the floor. That was lucky. <laughs> um, but you're going to allow her to do more damage by healing her. Uh, Mighty Morphin Black. Uh, target foe discards one random card and takes damage equal to its cost. Uh, and then Zack. First time you use an attach ability during each of your turns, attack target foe discards one card. Okay, so that's like a discard mechanic. Mighty Morphin Pink. Uh, deal two damage for each different starter you control. Uh, Kimberly, of course. Uh, for every two starters you play during your turn, draw one card. So the more starters you have, the better. Mighty Morphin Blue. Uh, deal two damage, one damage for each block you control. So I'm going to imagine he does something with blocks. Uh, when you negate a attack, draw one card. Uh, that didn't talk about blocking, but okay. But we got Billy there. There are our Rangers. I left some of them face up, some of them face down, because why would I do anything the same? All right. So we have Lord Zed, empowered. Okay, so maybe there's an empowered in a regular mode. Uh, minus two. Uh, six, deal damage equal to the total cost of equipment attached to your character. Uh, attach Lord Zed when gained. Mm, Lord Zed regular mode. Uh, so, okay, when all four slots are filled up, draw one card. All right, so they got that for the layer for them. Uh, when you attach an equipment, draw a card. So, okay, Lord Zed draws cards. Reader Repulsa empowered. I should have done this the other way, but I didn't know how these cards were. So, yay, we do it this way. Uh, deal one damage to target foe for each empty slot on their character. Uh, the first time you attach a card during each of your turns, attack. Deal one damage to target foe for each empty slot on their character. All right, so there, hers appears to be dealing with filling up uh, the slots. Deal one damage for each card with a cost two or three you control. Uh, Rito Revolto does when you attach a card with two or three, draw one card. Gold Dog empowered on five attack. I, I wasn't even halfway paying attention to attack. Is that one of the higher attacks? Uh, five or no, three. Yeah, okay. So the oh no, Lord Zed was six. Holy cow, 
Uh, how much? The Rangers are all. No, the Rangers I was saying were all four, but Billy, the Blue Ranger, is only three. Okay. So, Goldar, deal three damage for each block attached. Uh, the first time you play a block during each of your turns, attack target foe gets a stun. Stuns are no bueno. Scorpina. Uh, so this is her empowered form. So deal two damage for each attack you control. So she's seven. And then regular Scorpina. Uh, minus one energy to activate attack. Minus one to activate attached attack cards. Okay. And then Finster, empowered stayed. Attack, deal damage equal to the total cost of all cards with putty you control. And then Finster, of course, is going to make some putties. When you play a card with putty in its name, reveal the top card of your deck, destroy it, or leave it. So, oh, okay, so these are, okay, so they have their scheming, I didn't notice that when I was looking at this. They have their scheming side, and they have their empowered side. Okay, so they call this the scheming side. The Power Rangers, yeah, it said Ranger side, and then Teenager side. Okay. All right, so let's start getting through the decks. All right. So here is the first deck. Uh, and do we have a handy dandy open me up thing? Oh, there it is. I like the handy dandy open me up things. Makes this so much easier. At least when they work. At least when they work. Because sometimes, like, you start pulling, it just breaks, like, two seconds after you <laughs> start to draw. There we go. We're just going to go through the cards, because I, since I can't discuss what the cards actually do, we're just going to go through the cards, see what the cards are. Uh, and basically kind of get an overview. And look at the beautiful art, right? Um, I don't know if this is the art from the IDW comics. Um, I haven't read too much into the comics yet. Um, cover illustrator, so it's got the cover illustrator. It's not saying who the illustrator of the cards are. So I do not know. If I see something that looks familiar from the comics, then I'll say, hey, it's the comic art. Uh, but here we go, so we have the Mega Dragon's Orb. We have the purple, hang on, did I do that wrong? Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have the Megazord on one side, and then you have the Mega Dragonzord on the other side. All right. So Finster, Scorpina, Goldar, Rito Revolto, Rita Repulsa, got Lord Zed, uh, viewing globe. Okay, so Rita's viewing globe. So this looks like maybe the villain deck. Uh, Dragon shield. Well, no, that's that would be a good guy item. Uh, it is a deck building game, so actually, now that I think about it, you may actually use the same deck because it really doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, Thunder Slinger. The Power Morpher. Uh, Radbug. I'm trying to remember the episode. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember the episode. Sword of Darkness. Disarm. Strike a pose. Vogue. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, parry. Parry the platypus. Knockout blow. Dodge. It is beautiful art. Oh, yep, oh, I lost the dodge. It dodged away from me. There we go. Bring that back up here. There we go. Dodge. Um, heavy attack. It really does look like the art from the uh, comic books. It really does. Uh, regenerate. So heal three. So that'd be real good for, who was it? Trini that did more damage with more hit points. It's Morphin time. Uh, industrial district. Uh, win game put into play. Angel Grove. Okay, so these are locations. So some of these were like abilities, some of these were like, look like equipment. So they're different things, do different things. Moon Palace, Ernie's Juice Bar, the Command Center. Uh, and then, okay, so matches any color, attach, win game. Signature item for Rita, Rita's Staff, Z Staff, Goldar's Wings, Monster Matic, Skeleton Sword, Scorpion Fin, so these are the bad guys, okay, now the good guys' weapons. Power Sword, Power Axe, Power Lance, Power Daggers, Power Bow, and a Power Dagger. But there we go. 
So that is the first one down. Um, I don't know if they're going to be any different. I might want to keep these separated since I don't... No, these look the same. These look different, but that says starter. So I'm guessing that's your starter hand. So let's, let's do this so I don't mess these up since I don't know how the game plays just yet. <laughs> let's take all of these cards and we're going to put them in the back in the box. Until I read the rules, let's not mix things up. That would always be bad. All right, so we're going to put you in there. And then I can show you guys how much it fills up with all the cards. There, two for one, right? Uh, was the last time I was on the side? Last time, there we go. But yeah, I love the Power Rangers. I grew up watching the Power Rangers. Um, I've watched almost all of the, the series and seasons. Um, I don't think I finished the last part of, I think, Ninja Storm, Super Ninja Storm, Super Ultra Ninja Storm, I don't remember, two, two, two series ago, right, and I, and I talk series in Japanese since, not in the, that we American since we split it in half, so I haven't watched the current one, but I did watch the Japanese version, and then the one before that I hadn't watched, but I did watch the Japanese, uh, and the one before that I never finished, so. Once I started watching Super Sentai, I really wasn't watching too much uh, Power Rangers anymore. Uh, Blade Buster. So these basic weapons, okay. There's a lot of those. Okay, so that makes sense. I mean, with a deck building game, you, you need lots of cheap stuff that you can get. So these look like all your basic stuff here, basic weapons. Um, and basic helpers, I guess. So heroes. Alpha 5. Uh, Zordon. The Blue Ranger. It's kind of weird, though, that you're going to be playing the Blue Ranger, but then you can get the Blue Ranger. You're playing the Black Ranger, and you get the Black Ranger. Pink Ranger. Green Ranger. Red Ranger. And, okay, so here's the Putty. So this goes with Finster, right? Squat. Although, that was only two Putties. Like, how effective is that going to be, Finster, if you only have two Putties? You need, you need more Putties. Squat. Super Putty Patrol, so this might count because it's got Putty in the name, right? Uh, Baboo. Yeah, so this is from the comic. I remember this art from the comic. So yeah, I think these are from the IDW comics. Um, which, of course, anything that they make, you know, or no, Boom Studios is... I'm thinking of IDW. So IDW has all of the other Hasbro stuff. It's got uh, G.I. Joe and Transformers. But they don't have... Um, Power Rangers for some reason. I think that's because Boom Studios started doing that before Hasbro acquired them recently. King Sphinx. Uh, the Risk Communicator made by Billy. It looks like Billy's bald. Just that, that, like, the bad placement. Like, you can tell he's got hair, but it looks like he's bald because there's nothing on the sides, like no side rooms. Uh, the Telescope. Triceratops. Okay, so now we're getting different Zords. Pterodactyl. Sabertooth Tiger, Mastodon, Tyrannosaurus, and the Dragon Zord. So you can only have six, um, six Zords win the deck. So when they start adding more Zords, like say the, the Tiger Zord, you would have to take one of these other ones out. There is no requirement saying that you have to have the specific Zords that make that particular, you know, Mega Zord. So I could see when they start doing expansions like um, Time Rangers and you know, Samurai Rangers and all that, that you could see them putting in the other Zords. And since you can only have six, you know, mix and match however you want to play. Put this there, I guess. All right, and our last deck. And see if this one works. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, so close. I didn't make it all the way around. That wasn't bad, though. came out. It came out. You get over there. All right, so yeah, so these are all the same. So last deck, so these are your starter. Okay, so starter cards, and then it looked like there were some more basics back there in the back. So teamwork, 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 must team. Holy cow, these they don't do anything. I don't know what these do. Well, okay, one. So it must give you one energy of some sort. All right, are they all teamwork? All right, let's do this. There we go. This is much easier. All right, because it's there's so many of them. All right, then we have mayhem. So this is kind of like the starter for the villains. All right, then you get your power coins, or two power coins, and then some putty clay. Now, it, the card says any with putty in its name. Okay, so this actually would work with Finster because it's got it in the name. 
our recovery, so healing again, so real good for uh, training, rebuild, teenagers with attitude, because that's what they need to, to defeat Rita, uh, disposable, um, okay, so just a whole bunch of buddy patrol, okay. and then, uh, so again, we're getting into just more, so these are more just the basic cards, so the green are your basics, so stun, Stun, mass stun, mucho stun, all the stuns, and a blade blast. That just seemed way out of place compared to the rest of it. It's like one blade blaster all by itself. And is that where we started with? Yeah, that's where we started with. Okay, so it, all the basic cards are either the blade blaster or the stuns. Okay. All right, so we'll put all of this back in a key. And uh, I think that is everything that came in the box, guys. So there we go. And I was going to show you guys how much room that takes up. So I didn't get them in there right. But there's some... The, these wells don't really fit very well. Um, that's a big well. These are little... These are smaller. So I don't know if there's some breakup of how the cards would be breaking up. Right now, there would be additional room. But if you sleeve your cards, of course, I could see how there wouldn't be as this may completely fill up if you sleeve your cards we sleeve our cards as we play um we usually don't sleeve in between uh just because it makes it easier when we want to swap cards in and out and i don't want to buy thousands of thousands of sleeves uh so there we go guys that is power rangers the deck building game again if you want to see this live gameplay uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and bell notification the live playthrough reminder should be up there you can also go over there and hit that that way you know when the live stream starts but until next time, guys, peace.